As Tonga recovers from the double disaster of a massive eruption and tsunami, researchers are beginning to piece together just how large this eruption was. It will take a while before all research has been done and the figures might change, but we can now already put some facts together from what is known. And they are impressive. The ash plume reached more than 50 kilometers. 160,000 feet, that is even taller than the ash plume from the 1991 eruption of Pinatubo in the Philippines. This map shows the top altitudes of the column. A height of more than 50 kilometers has never been observed for a volcanic ash cloud. It would be halfway to space and up to three times as high as the highest polar clouds. Even astronauts and the International Space Station could see the ash clouds, as they drifted over the South Pacific. Volcanic lightning is a phenomenon that occurs during big and powerful eruptions. In the one hour of the biggest explosions about 200,000 lightning crashes hit and in a four-hour period about 400,000. That would be about 55 lightning strikes a second. The eruption will in the volcanic eruption index come no further than a scale 4 eruption. This has nothing to do with the power of the explosion, but with the volume of volcanic debris. And that means this was a fairly small eruption on this scale. The last decades there were several bigger eruptions as a scale 5 eruption takes place every 10 to 12 years. The amount of debris releases now stands at half a cubic kilometer and this happened in less than one hour. In one hour this eruption put more debris out than recent eruption at La Palma in Iceland. Another measure is the amount of sulfur dioxide being released. According to now available data, Hunga Tonga blasted 400,000 metric tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, about 2% of the amount of Mount Pinatubo. The sulfur clouds still travel the world and have reached Africa. Though these images look impressive the amount of sulfur will not bring a cooling down effect as the Pinatuba eruption did. As we all have seen the explosion was powerful enough to blow away a few square kilometers of land that was added by previous smaller eruptions. NASA estimates that the blast released the equivalent of 10 megatons of energy. For perspective, that is about 600 times the energy released by the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Some even believe it is much higher than this. The sound of the blast might have been the loudest noise on Earth since the 1883 eruption of Krakatau in Indonesia. The pressure wave from the Tongan blast was recorded circling the globe multiple times in the days after the eruption. While looking at the eruption, the United Nations says that over 80% of Tonga's population has been severely impacted by the disaster. That is over 80,000 people, which is why the supply planes and boats bringing water and other necessities are so vital right now. By some estimates, almost all of the agriculture in Tonga has been ruined. The ash cover on all land can be seen in the damage done by the tsunamis as well. I put a link in the description of this movie for a crowdfunding action by a Tongan rugby player living they will need all the help they can get the coming months. The past days there was some seismic activity with earthquakes of 4.8 on the Richter scale in the neighborhood of Hunga Tonga. Let's hope for the Tongan people it will stay quiet. If you want to know more, just leave a comment. Thanks for watching this one.